up? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. My voice is still giving you raspy loveliness. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, it's Christine Horn, your life and career coach. This is day three of self-tape mastery. I'm not being rude. Like I'm trying to pull up Facebook on my phone so that I can maybe see some of your comments today. I'm trying to see if I'm in real time or not. We'll see. So come on in, say hello. Um, as of right now, I only see comments in Crowdcast, but I was trying to see if I can get my Facebook to um, act up. Today, we're talking about tech, tech, tech. So hang on. Let me move this out the way. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Let me set my timer because y'all know how I get. Let me um, refresh this page. I think my internet is just acting a little shady today. Um, my computer. And I think it, I think it's not really my internet. I think it is my computer. My startup disk is full. Information that you don't need, I know. But um, <laughs> I want to welcome you. Come on in. So look, all this week we have been doing self-tape mastery. So today is day three. Um, if you're new to me, I want to welcome you. I'm Christine Horn, professional actress and life and career coach for actors just like you. This is a very special series that I'm doing all this week because the people in my community, in the Hollywood Brown Actors community, you all said you need some assistance with that. So that's what we're doing today. So all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up? Replay watchers? Love you guys. So let me just, I'm coming over here one more second to see if I can see myself on Facebook, to see if this is working, trying to be here. But it, this, I don't think it wants me to be great. So we're just going to keep it moving if I don't see myself in a second. I don't see myself. All right. Sorry, Facebook. If you are watching, if you are tuned in live, if you're on Crowdcast, be sure to come say hi. Um, okay. If that's not working. So, oh, well. So listen, hey, Dawn, as you come on in, say hi. Again, I was trying to make a connection on Facebook, but you may be seeing it, but I can't see it. So the past two days, we've been dealing with, day one, we talked about stage directions and how to balance that all out. Yesterday on day two, I'm looking at my checklist over there. Yesterday on day two, we focused on dressing the part. So not necessarily being in costume, but being alluding to whatever character it is that you are playing, that you are portraying. So today I want to, and it's so funny, shout out to Catherine, uh, who's been watching this series and asked, she was like, are you going to talk about tech stuff? And I was like, just hang tight, hang tight. So that's what today is. I want to talk a bit about tech. If you saw my YouTube series that I did on this, I do have another self tape series on YouTube. Um, you, this will be, this will not be new to you. This will be something that I've always talked about. So I won't, this won't take super long. Um, the biggest thing, you know, when you're, when you're doing self tapes is we need to be able to hear you and we need to be able to see you biggest, biggest things. And it is, I'm just going to say this clearly so that there's no like gray area. <laughs> Because no one maybe will say it this straight to you. There is no excuse for you not to have a proper self-tape set up if you are in the business of doing self-tapes. If you are looking to do film or television, and hell, even some theater will do pre-auditions and when you have to tape yourself. But especially for film and TV, if that's what you say you want to do, you need to invest in a setup. Now, that investment will change, can change over time. But today I'm going to talk about some good ways to start and just at least go from there. You can't say I didn't tell you. Okay. So number one, I just want to address the cell phone issue really quick. Cell phones do have amazing cameras. I mean, I mean, really great. So if you're in a pinch or even not, if you need to tape on your cell phone, just by all means, never hold it this way. Never hold it uh, vertical. It always must be horizontal. Always must be horizontal. And so they have little, um, hold on, I'll show you. Hang on, let me, I wanna show you everything I have over here. So if you only have a cell phone right now as your camera option, they have these little camera 
tripod holder thingies. I don't know what they're called. This is called, it's called square, how they do it? Square jellyfish. You can't really see that. It just says square jellyfish. I'm sure you can find these anywhere, but that's what you would want to do. At least, you know, you get it on your, on your tripe, you get it on your thing, and then they always have these little uh, things you can twirl. So then you can turn the phone horizontal, lock that in place, and then you should be you should own a tripod. Okay, they they range from twenty to forty twenty dollars and up. Best Buy, Target, Walmart, get a tripod, and then you know it has a little hole there. So then you just put that on your tripod. So now you're at least stable. Okay, that is important. So what do we learn so far? If you're going to use your phone, phone is horizontal at all times, and it must be on a tripod so that you have stability. And you're going to need the tripod um, regardless, right? So why not just go ahead and get one? Um, here, I'm still checking. I'm like a glutton for punishment. Like, I just, like my, speaking of tech, I want my tech to work. Let me see if it's in the HBA group. So next, Let's talk backdrops, because I know that's a big question a lot of you have. As you can see, currently, this is paper. That's what I use now, but that's not what I always used to use. Back in the day, when I was first starting out, and I've shared this with many of you before, you want to get sheets. Why isn't it didn't share at all today? This is so shady. That's really weird. There must have been an issue. I'll have to share it later. Oh, well. So I recommend one of three backdrops, especially for when you're starting out at home. So when I before I had gray paper, I just had a gray sheet. So you want to go to Target, Walmart, anywhere like that and get a flat sheet. So not the ones with little edges, right? A flat sheet. These range, these can range about ten to fifteen dollars, right? And back in the day, I just would tack it up, tack up my sides, all four sides. You see how it looks right now? Wrinkled. Please iron the sheet. Please. <laughs> you have no idea how many auditions I've seen where the sheet is wrinkled or the sheet is not is not taut. It's not the this. You know, I don't want it to look like a hanging curtain. Okay, so iron the sheet. Next, so that's one color. And as you can see, this is what I use. I personally, there's no right or wrong. It really is about what you think makes you pop. So as you're looking at me right here, I feel like I personally pop off this gray. I feel like even the clothes I have on pop off of it. Another color I always suggest to my fairer skinned uh, clients is this dark kind of navy blue. It's kind of, I don't think you call it royal, kind of navy-ish, royally navy color. Because see, for me, I didn't care for it when I used to tape with this just because I didn't feel like I popped enough. It was just, I felt maybe I have some blue undertones in my skin or something. I don't know, it just wasn't working for me. But my fair skin clients, oh, it makes, it looks so great on you. So it just makes you pop off of here. It's such a beautiful contrast. Again, this is just, well, this one isn't because this is the actual sheet for the bed because <laughs> I don't use this. But if this were yours, it would be flat, right? Again, and you would iron it. The last color that I suggest, and it's not my favorite, but it can work for, I think, any skin tone. But again, I just don't like the color. Is this kind of sky baby blue. You see it? Again, not my favorite. It just feels like it washes me out. But that's what you may want to try. Whatever you try, make sure it is nailed up tacked to the wall, taut. If it's in an area of your house where it has to come up and down, so be it. Try to just prepare yourself that, you know, don't fold it in a million little pieces when you're done so you don't have to keep ironing it. Um, so that's my suggestion. That's the main thing. Backdrop, because just doing it on a plain white wall or cream wall, you're, again, just not going to pop. If that's your only option, fine. But just get a dedicated sheet to start with and just start there. So for me, this paper, this came on a roll. That's why I didn't start with this. The roll, I mean, I have so much paper left. The roll was like, I don't know, 60 bucks or something. 
I only I did that because I do so much stuff here in this studio. I just wanted to invest in that. And I got tired of the buckles from the from the sheets and I just wanted to upgrade. But you don't have to start there. Next, let's talk about lights. You need to be seen. Some of you right now, you're only working on you're only working with daylight. So if <laughs> for some of you, if you have an audition, you are uh, hoping that it's sunny outside because that's the only light. So sometimes that's all you have. At least make sure the light is hitting you and that you are the light is not behind you because that will give you shadows. However, start saving your coins. <laughs> start saving your coins to get some lights. So ideally, these are the lights that I suggest. Hold on. Let me lift it up higher for you. So as you can you see this? So if you go on Amazon, you will see these. They'll, they'll be called the the name brand of this is like a three point lighting system. The idea is you have two lights always coming at you at a 45 degree angle. So one here, one here. And then what they call a hair light that's up here. I don't use the hair light anymore. I used to. These two are enough for me now. So, but they usually come in as a three pack. The name brand of it, if you look on Google, on Amazon would be Cowboy Studio Lighting System. So you don't have to get the name brand. This is not that. <laughs> this is a some other brand. But I say start there so you know what you're looking for and you'll see comparisons. Just so you see what it looks like on the inside. So it's like Velcro to the side here. More Velcro here. So these are all like little barriers. And then you have, it should be five. One of my bulbs broke. So it's five bulbs in here. And they come, they come with the bulbs and you can buy replacement bulbs. So for me, you know, I have an office slash studio so I can just keep these up. They go up and down, right? So that's one option. That's the option I wanna go on record. That's the option I wanna go on record saying I recommend. Now, if you don't A, have space, or B, the finances to buy the three-point lighting system, I believe these three at the time might have been close to almost $200. Again, an investment in you and your career and your taping. I'm going to lose a little light right now because I'm about to show you my ring light, which I'm sure most of you have seen. Ring lights are super popular. Okay? I don't want to blind you. But... Um, Oh, I feel like I'm having my own little photo shoot here. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so the ring light is cool because it's just one piece. You can do more white light uh, or you can do ooh, more yellow. That's my yellow. And you can do a mix. Right? I can turn it down, make it moody. I can make it really bright. And as you can see, it can it uses a cord or it takes batteries, right? So this is really great when, I, when I'm traveling. I'm gonna put that back. Make my light brighter again. There we go. Bam, okay. So when I'm traveling, I love to, I love to travel with my ring light because it comes in a carrying case. I put it in my check bag because <laughs> As soon as you book a trip, trust me, you will get an audition. Like, so if you haven't had auditions in a while, honey, just buy a plane ticket somewhere. Buy a bus ticket and watch some auditions come through. <laughs> so with that, you always want to have in mind, what is my self-tape setup? Not just for when I'm at home, but when I'm traveling. So I travel, when I travel, I travel with the gray sheet. I travel with my ring light and I travel with my camera, of course. Um, speaking of cameras, again, you can use your cell phone horizontal right? And, or you can get a actual HD camera. So again, this is really about budget. If you can find something that's what they call open box at Best Buy or Sears or one of them places, see, you can find it. Something that's already been opened, those will be cheaper. But if you're going to go the HD route and look, I highly recommend you get something with high quality, getting a little kind of handheld camera, where it's kind of foggy and grainy, it's just not going to serve you. Not we live in a day we live in a day and age of 
of you know high quality digital stuff. So you like I would dare say if all you can use in the beginning is your cell phone, then use your cell phone. Um, but I started with this camera, which is a Sony A5000. This camera I actually love because the little, the camera flips up. So if I was here taping something by myself, I can see myself, see what I'm doing. The only thing that I didn't like about it is that it does not have a microphone uh, input, no jack. Wasn't the end of the world. I used this camera for at least two and a half, three years and booked many things off of it. As long as I was in a room that, you know, was not with a bunch of loud things going on, it was fine. Um, so don't let that hinder you. The quality of that camera is amazing. I've done so many videos on that, promo videos for my business, auditions. So no one was holding me to that. Um, so the next, my I upgraded to this. This is a Canon EOS something. Don't give me the line. Oh, EOS. There we go. Okay. And this is a, it came with a mic jack. So this is separate. Microphones will always be separate on your cameras. Um, I'll take this little, I'll call it my little rabbit foot off. So this is what the mic looks like. And this camera comes with what they call a hot shoot. I think that's what they call it, where something, things can come on and off here. So you can put other lenses here. You can put microphones, whereas this a Sony A5000 did not. There's no hot shoot on there. It just has flash and that's it. So I wanted to upgrade in 2018 and make sure my sound was really impeccable in my auditions and even for my promotional videos for my business. So that's why I upgraded to this, but not necessary. And it is certainly not where I start, where I started. So we've covered backdrop. We've covered lighting. We've covered cameras. The last thing I want to talk about is editing. Now, this isn't going to be an editing tutorial, but there, use YouTube. YouTube will teach you anything. So if you have a PC, more than likely you're going to be doing your edits with Windows Movie Maker. If you have a Mac or a, a tablet or whatever, more than likely you're editing with iMovie. Get used to editing basic things. Fade in, fade out. How do you cut to full body? How do you, you just do basic edits for your auditions? Go to YouTube. Just figure out how to do basic editing for beginners and start there. That will help you out tremendously, okay? You will need to have a decent edit. And for those of you using your phone, they even have apps you can put on your phone to edit your videos as well, okay? So that is your tech today. So, you know, the biggest mistake, again, that, that I've seen is just lack of commitment to creating your area. You know, like I told you yesterday, like we have to create what this area is. Is it a hospital? Is it a laundry room? Is it a living room? Wherever your auditions are. And we don't need any extra distractions, wrinkled sheets, stuff hanging. We can see stuff on your walls. Like I'm not framed because I'm on my computer now, but have this been like a, a video camera, you know, it would be very specific and you would just see what I want you to see in that frame. So pick the color that you think will look best for your skin. Like I said, my chocolate people, I just naturally go toward um, the gray, but I've been to self-tape studio, some studios to be taped, and they've used like a dark charcoal gray, or they've used like a rich blue, a textured blue. But again, it's not my preference. It really goes to what your skin tone is giving. But um, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. I don't think it's shared naturally on Facebook, so I'm gonna have to manually share it, but thank you for watching. All my replay watchers, you can leave comments. Um, and yeah, please take the time to invest. Look, I started out like many of you, going to Target, getting the little light, you know, the light that comes on one pole. <laughs> you know what I mean? It has a, it's like that. And then it's just got the one thing. And I was getting three and four of those and trying to tilt those to, to me because that was all I thought I could afford. But the issue is it creates shadows and it's just not enough. So I could sit here and lie to you, be like, yeah, just get a couple of those lights. No, that's not going to cut it. Save up your coin. Get If you can get $60, get the ring light to start with. The ring light is very bright. And a lot of times, if I'm not off book, if I haven't memorized everything, I like to read off things off the wall. And with the ring light, with the brightness in my eyes, I can't read and 
it's just too much for my eyes. So I only use the ring light for specific things um, to give a certain mood or if I'm doing some promo things, right? Or if I'm in a pinch and I'm in, and I'm traveling. So just make it make it a choice, right? Make just decide that you're gonna invest, save up a few a few less nights out, a few din a few less dinners out, a few less cocktails, right? And be like, I'm gonna get my lighting together. I'm gonna get my backdrop together. I've seen it make all the all the difference in people's tapes and in their bookings. All right. I'm Christine Horn, your life and career coach. Join me tomorrow. Same time, same place. Um, hopefully tomorrow, Facebook. It's so funny that this video is about tech and then like we had tech issues. <laughs> but I'll see you guys next time. Bye.